What is interface segregation principle? Let's see the definition first. The interface segregation principle ISP stated that a class should not be forced to implement interfaces that it does not use. Okay, so let me explain with the Excel example. Suppose you have an interface I vehicle which has two methods drive and fly declared only. Okay, now you are creating a class flying car which will implement the I vehicle interface method something like this. Perfect. But suppose tomorrow your manager asks you to create a class for just a normal car. Okay, and then you will write the code something like this. Here this I vehicle interface is creating the problem for you because fly method is not applicable for car class but still you have to implement it right you have to implement all the methods of the interface right so what is the, what was the definition the interface segregation states that class should not be forced to implement not be forced to implement interfaces that it does not use and here we are forcing on car class to implement the i vehicle interface methods this fly method and it, it it does not use this right so so we are violating interface segregation principle here now what is the solution then one solution is it is better to have multiple smaller interfaces than larger interfaces for that we will divide that big interface into a small interface like this i drive and i fly like this and then car can inherit i drive interface and implement just the drive method without any problem and what flying car class can implement both i drive and i fly interface and implement both uh, drive and fly method like this so basically multiple inheritance you remember it is can be done by interfaces right now we are not forcing any interface method on any class right so this is interface segregation principle Se segregate your interfaces as small as possible as per the derived class needs okay